morning, everyone. My name is Romano Roth, and I am a principal consultant at Zölke. And I am a DevOps enthusiast. My passion lies in radically transforming IT waterfall silo organization into agile teams which are doing DevOps. What is the business case of DevOps? Today, I will give you a tool how you can convince your decision maker, the CIO or the manager, about the DevOps transformation so that you get the money for this DevOps transformation. Today's IT, they have a lot of problems. They have technical debt in their application landscape and in their applications and also in their infrastructure. And then there are these silos, which are not working together, but are fighting against each other. And then there is a culture which does not accept risk and innovation. And there is a complete lack of trust. And over, overall, we have the cost cuts. We, do, we need to do more with less money. Today's decision maker, they want to do DevOps. And you, all of you, you want to do DevOps as well. But unfortunately, the decision makers, they don't know what DevOps is. So you will go to them and you will talk about the DevOps core values. You will talk about accountability. You will talk about trust. You will talk about empowerment. And you will talk about continuous improvement. And you will talk about how to get the customer in the center. And then you will go and you will tell about the DevOps target. You will tell him that he can release more often into production, that we have faster deployments. You will talk about mean time to recovery, that that is improved, and that the lead time of bug fixes will be massively uh, improved. And also, innovation taking can be made with DevOps. The decision maker, he will tell to you, yeah, well, that's exactly what we want to have. But tell me, is this DevOps thing costs anything? Because, you know, we, we have cost cuts. Then you will say, yeah, well, Yes, it will cost something. And the decision maker will then say, so tell me, what is the business case of that DevOps thing? So what is a business case? In a business case, we look at the benefits and the chances and divide these by the costs and the risks. If that is positive, then we have a positive business case, and we should do it. If it's negative, we have a negative business case, and we shouldn't do it. And we, if we have a division by zero, we should debug that business case. For the decision maker, it is absolutely crucial to know when they get their return on investment. That's the point where they get their money back so that they can reinvest their money into new initiatives. So we need to show him when he gets the return on investment. Now, it is crucial that we understand where value is generated. Usually, we have um, a value chain which starts with an idea. Then we will define this idea in a user story then we will implement this idea, and then we will deploy it until it is at uh, the customer when we release the feature or the product. During the whole value chain, no value is generated. Only when the feature, the product, is at the customer side, value is generated. It is essential that you understand that. Now, how do we earn money? We earn money by having value at the customer side, because then the customer will pay us money, which we earn, and then can reinvest into new ideas. 
which then flow from definition to implementation to deployment and to release. And then we have, again, value at the customer side. Now, how do we invest into DevOps? We invest into DevOps by taking some of this money and using that to improve this value chain. So instead of putting that money into new ideas, we take these and improve uh, the lead time of our value chain. Now it's essential to understand the concept of time, value, money, which is an economic concept. This concept says a euro today is always more worth than a euro tomorrow. The concept is about when you can invest, you should invest as early as possible because of the earning capacity in the future. So always invest as early as possible. When we look at the return on investment without DevOps, then we see the large enterprises which have release cycles of three months. During these three months, no value is generated. The, the features or the user stories will go through definition, implementation, and deployment, but no value is generated. After it is released, after these three months, then we generate value for the customer and he will pay us. So in this example, the return on investment is about two months in the future. When we look now at the return on investment with DevOps, then it is faster because we can deliver faster value to the customer. We will have smaller release cycles and we will bring smaller features at the customer side. So with that, we enable us to have a faster return on investment. And this faster return on investment leads to faster value generation, and it leads to that that we can earn faster money, which we then can reinvest into either new ideas or into further DevOps transformation. So to start the DevOps business case, it looks like this. We need first to invest some of the mo money, which we could invest into new ideas, into improving our value stream. We need to improve the lead time of this value stream so that value flows faster through the system. When we have improved the value stream, then it looks like this. We have a faster value stream from definition implementation to deployment, and the lead time has massively improved. And we are now able to release more often into production, to bring features faster to our customer so that we have a faster return on investment. And this enables us to use that money again for further DevOps transformation or for other ideas. Now, you have got the tool now to convince your decision maker about the DevOps transformation so that you can get the money for this DevOps transformation. It is essential that you focus on fast value generation in that case because with that, not only your project or your product will, uh, will be successful, no, the whole enterprise will be su successful because you will have happy customers which are happy with your features and the, f the speed which the features uh, they, they get, and they will pay you money for that, and that is a good thing. And with that, you can see, with DevOps, everybody will win. Thank you very much. We we have roughly three minutes left. I'm happy to answer uh, the, your questions, if you have any. It is hot. <laughs> right, then. Then again. Questions? No? Questions? Then. 
thanks again. You can reach me. Uh, I will be happy uh, to answer your questions also uh, eye by eye. Uh, I will be at the Silke booth or around here, uh, or you can reach me by email, Twitter, or LinkedIn. Thanks again. <laughs>